Hi, this is Jen coming to you from the South Country Library. I know you're used to seeing Miss Amanda on Wednesdays, but I'm just taking her place today and you should see her again next Wednesday. So I'm going to share two books with you today. The first one is called Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea. And this is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. So it's written by Jan Peck with illustrations by Valeria Patron. And it's a rhyming book. See if you can listen for the rhyming words. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I'm looking for a treasure for my mama and me. I'm so brave, can't scare me. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a seahorse racing by me. Hello, seahorse. Giddy up, seahorse. See you later, sweet seahorse. Swim away. I love seahorses. That seahorse is yellow, right? Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a hermit crab hiding from me. Hello, crab. Peekaboo crab. See you later, crab. Swim away. And there's the crab in his shell. He's red, right? Let's see who we find next. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a sea star dancing by me. Hello, sea star. Don't see those no sea star. See you later, sea star. Swim away. And where's that sea star? Oh, there he is. Oh, do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a sea turtle. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a sea turtle following me. Hello, turtle. Take along, turtle. See you later, turtle. Swim away. See all those bubbles? <laughs> Oh, look, an octopus. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy an octopus waving at me. Hello, octopus. Give me eight octopus. See you later, octopus. Swim away. An octopus has eight legs. Octo means eight. And that's why he says, give me eight, because he has eight legs. And he's an orange color, isn't he? Ooh, way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a dolphin diving by me. Hello, dolphin. Hitch a ride, dolphin. See you later, dolphin. Swim away. And that dolphin's blue. Ooh, way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a swordfish fencing with me. Hello, swordfish. Touche, swordfish. See you later, swordfish. Swim away. Oh my goodness, look. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a whale spouting water by me. Hello, whale. Sing along, whale. See you later, whale. Swim away. Oh, look. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy treasure gleaming at me. Hello, treasure. Pirate treasure. Take along, treasure. Swim away. Whoa, look at that treasure. But I have to point out, oh, look who's there. Oh. oh, way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a shark laughing at me. Uh-oh. Goodbye, shark. That's what I'd say too. Bye, I'm out of here. Goodbye, whale. Goodbye, swordfish. Goodbye, 
dolphin. So there's the whale and the swordfish and the dolphin. Goodbye, octopus. Goodbye, turtle. Goodbye, sea star. Goodbye, hermit crab. Goodbye, seahorse. Can we see them all? The turtle, the octopus, the sea star. There's the crab, the hermit crab. Up, up, up from the deep blue sea, I find Mama waiting for me. Hello, Mama. Guess what, Mama? I found treasure in the deep blue sea. Where was he that whole time? Let's see. Oh, and there are all the animals in his bathtub. He is using his imagination, right? And that's the story of Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea. The next book is called Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. And this is also being brought to us by Simon & Schuster Books for young readers. And this has adorable illustrations. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. And I have to show you close up. Look at how cute. Aw, baby. He knew early that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. See, his is much shorter. He had different tastes in food. They're eating and look at his face. <laughs> and he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. Aw, his friends love him just the way he is. That's what true friends do. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. Ah, I wish I was a better swimmer. Oh no, what's gonna happen to Narwhal? Kept, Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious sporting, I'm sorry, a mysterious sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Let's see that creature close up. What do you think that could be? Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. But he was nervous about... He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. Hey, look, there's a crab again. It wasn't. It wasn't easy to walk. Look. Whoop, he fell over. And in this picture, he's trying to jump like the frog and whoop, he fell over. Eventually, he got the hang of it. He copied the nice slow turtle and now he can walk. He's used to swimming, right? Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, oh, land narwhals, there they are. And this one says, actually, we're unicorns. And by the looks of it, so are you. So there's the unicorn and let's see Kelp up close. What do you think? Do you think Kelp is a unicorn? Kelp never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We all, we call them horns. Wow! They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. 
Mmm, rainbow cones. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was in fact a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly, so he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon! Even the crab is waving at him. See the crab? Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. There are his friends. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Kelp! And the sign says, welcome home. I think they're very happy to see him. Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. His friends still love him just the way he is. They always did. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or it's a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe just maybe Sorry. He didn't have to choose. And now the unicorns and the narwhals are all friends together, all because of kelp. And they're having a great time. And that's the story of Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. So thank you for all listening today. Remember, story time is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 4 p.m. on Facebook. And then we try to put them on YouTube and our children's page as well. So tune in again. And thanks for joining us. Take care.